Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. My name is Beth and I have a journal obsession. This is my time and space to journal, whether it's to be with paper, paint, stickers, tape, or some other found object. I like creating worlds in my journaling and it's a form of learning for me also. I love learning by journaling. Currently I'm creating and learning the world of shells. Let's see where that takes me. August 2020. Does it look like I'm I deep in the heart of the Gulf Stream that runs up and down the east coast of North America. It's approximately 50 miles off the coast. The rest of my journey will happen fast now. I've caught the current like being on a train on water. When I have to get out of it, it'll be a tough haul, but doable. This Gulf Stream has lots of fishing boats. I really have to stay deep as to not get caught up in their nets. This Gulf Stream has a bad quality too. It produces hurricanes as the warm waters hit the cooler waters. I've heard that getting caught up in one of those could really shatter me, break me into tiny pieces. So the water is warm and I stay deep to avoid storms and boats. I'm a tad behind schedule, but so close now. Does it look like I have a different work surface? Well, I'm, maybe I do. I'm at the kitchen table. Let's see if I'm even in frame. Oh, better than normal sometimes. <laughs> Somebody's chewing on my shoelaces. Let's just do abstract waves. How about that? And I'm going to include a picture of the water from just about 10 minutes ago. I tried to go out there, try to tire this one down before I try to film so that he would semi-behave. He's a puppy. We had a much better night last night. Much better. Um, But the waves are fierce. There was more bad storms in Alabama last night. I think like five people were killed. That's crazy. Crazy to me. Okay. So I'm imagining, this is kind of what it looks like under the water right now. Churn, not one seashell, just broken bits. So thank goodness, Ethan didn't travel on days like this. Huh, I don't have anything to dry all this with. I think I'm gonna to have to do this in stages. Let's see if we can find some blue stuff in here. So I cleaned out the refrigerator. I haven't done very much yet because a certain someone just cries if you're not completely staring at him. <laughs> which I know he needs to get used to, but in three, two days, we're gonna be at our permanent location. <gasps> My husband just found out, that might go. The people next door, the little girl that came here a couple weeks ago, they're renting their lake house for the summer. Which does not make us happy. <laughs> They have, they're going on like three or four trips. They have summer activities planned. I wouldn't be doing all this, but they're big proponents. He's a doctor and he's a big proponent of letting your immune system work hard to, to build it up. I'm very anti building your immune system up. I want all the shots. In fact, I might get mine on Monday. My husband and I are going to go home on Monday morning because of traffic here. There's a lot of butterflies in here. I don't think there's any butterflies in the water. Um, and we're going to see if I can't stop by the football stadium and come up with a test on the spur of the moment. He might be my good luck. I don't have any luck with that kind of stuff. But he might. And he'll be with me, so we'll see. That's how he got his. He just went and they had some left and they said, sure, come on. Nobody sitting there, nobody waiting. No appointments. He has luck like that, I don't. Oh, don't eat that. Don't eat my Tim Holtz ephemera. Huh? Nope. Um, that's a bird. Well, a bird could be. In the ocean. Um, oh, I like this one too. 
trying to find things that are blue. Make a tiny little collage. I made, I cleaned out the refrigerator. You know the best way to clean out the refrigerator? Now I eat totally differently down here when I'm by myself than when my husband's here. I could be a vegetarian very easily. I think I've said this before. Hold on, I have to get some blue paper. Can I have my shoelace back, please? Got somebody running around here like a toady frog. Ooh, look at that creepy thing. We could have a creepy thing from Pompeii. No, not calm down. Ah, ah, ah. Damn, not it. Ah, no, no. Ooh, he's wound up. He is wound up. Okay, we're gonna put this ghost figure in there and a little bit of this sunbrella ad. And maybe a little bit of wording. You can hear my dishwasher going, sorry. Okay, I think I was talking about cleaning out the refrigerator. Do you know how you clean out the refrigerator when you're down here and you've collected a lot of vegetables and you have leftovers in? I love oven baked potatoes. Um, I don't know what they're called in other countries, but all right, let's see what's left in my little goodie bag here. Most of this is for my Hobonichi, Adora Ichi. Oh, I know we can add some of our purple dots. And I only have black ink. Oh, here, this is an architectural feature. Um, I put all my leftovers into a bowl of pasta, like um, uh, what are the pastas that are sp like spiral pasta? And I make a pasta salad with a, a uh, like olive oil and vinegar dressing type of base. And there's green beans, there's baby corn, there's um, leftover onion is in there. Uh, a pork chopped up pork chop was left, that's in there. Um, it seems like, oh, some Kalamata olives I had left over. You just start adding stuff. That's the best way to clean out a refrigerator, in my opinion. And now I will eat on that, probably not my husband, but I will eat on that pasta salad for the rest of the weekend. And if I end up having to throw some of it away, I won't feel so guilty because I've used it twice. And I've separated all the food that can stay here over the winter in our owner's closet. And what can, which is basically canvas that last, the ones that will last for a very long time because I do put a lot of that kind of stuff together and make pasta salads a lot just because it's easy and I like them. When I was still in California, I came to this area, in fact, about six miles down the road in 1980 when I graduated from high school. That's how old I am. And uh, I stayed for about two and a half, three years. Mm, three and a half years. And then I went back home for about two years. And then I got married and never was home again. Um, where was I going with all this? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Huh. I'm sure it was vital. Very important stuff. What was I going to say? Good grief. Good grief. I don't remember at all. Now these are these little teeny tiny pieces of ephemera and they're blue and I may not use them all. But I believe in connecting all the ephemera so it's touching and kind of has a relationship with each piece. Ooh, doesn't that sound artistic? And then I'm just gonna put it on top of our Gulf Stream. Can 
you see my end shot? I certainly hope so, because I've been jabbering on. What in the world was I talking about? Pasta salad. Oh, pasta salad. But when I worked, when I was back in California for those two years, I um, worked in an insurance office and it was between my house and where I grew up and uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in a little town called Larkspur, which was right on the water. Um, you could catch a ferry and go across to San Francisco right there. Um, but there was a deli up the road and they had the best pasta salad and I've never, ever, ever found anything close to duplicating it. It just had, it was, it was actually a liquor store with a deli, kind of like what you find a bodega in New York. And uh, he could have been from New York actually. He was a little old Italian guy or he could have been from San Francisco or wherever. That's kind of raci racism. My grandfather was a little old Italian guy. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, I love that. See? That's a little too symmetrical, actually. Hmm. Okay. We got a little piece of paper here. Can we color this? Oh, yes, we can. But uh, he, in this deli, he used to have a little bit of, like a bodega in New York. A little bit of pasta and a little bit of, I don't, this says happy holidays. This was on my filming camera tripod. But you can't tell once I split it up enough. It's a little too symmetrical. Leave the jackets alone. I see you, uh, 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 uh. Gunner. He's getting really good at the potty thing. He cries. It's like, oh, it's been 20 minutes. You must need to go outside. <laughs> um, that might be too much. But I'm, I, I think about that pasta salad a lot. That probably was about 1984. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do that. A piece of paper that I painted, I'm dropping it on there. All right, oh dear, I forgot my envelope. Why am I forgetting those, the last bits here? Well, I can put it on the outside. Oh, I really love this. Oh, I love that. Love it, love it. Yep, I missed that pasta salad from that little tiny deli slash liquor store. All right, we're gonna let that finish drying. And I'll, I'll attach an envelope back here and put in today's and tomorrow's in the same envelope. I've done that twice when I have forgotten it. All right, so this will be my workstation for two more days. Well, actually one more day for you. This is Saturdays, and I will be doing Saturdays and Sundays, and Monday when I get home. Well, I'll be doing, this is Saturdays, I'll be doing Sundays. I'll be doing Sundays tomorrow, and Mondays on Sundays, I guess. The plan is to bug out of here early, early, early Monday morning before traffic gets going the traffic is really bad. The snowbirds are all leaving. Why are you chewing on the table like, gosh darn it, your father's gonna strangle us both. Not really, but what he does know won't hurt him. Here, here's your brush. I'm gonna include a picture of the ocean in the beginning. It was wild, we were just out there. Let me tie my shoes all back up. And get a bite of potatoes or pasta salad. I let my foot rest for a little bit. I graduated yesterday. I graduated. I graduated. I am through with physical therapy. She said there's about 
and I'm just jabbering. There's about 10% um, movement that could be improved upon in each direction, like when your ankle moves. So this is your foot, this is your ankle, and it goes that way or that way or that way. And she said, that's gonna take exercise with like the bands and stuff. Hey, come here. Come here, you monkey. Come here, you monkey. Why do you think you can steal the show? Huh? Why do you think you can steal the show? Before you knock that over. You gonna knock everything over? You gonna knock everything over? Huh? Where are you? Are you in your mom's art studio slash dining room table? Hmm? Are you at the art studio? You got lots of sand in you. You're gonna get a bath when we get home. You don't know it yet. Anyhow, I graduated. They were very surprised that I had made it this far. They said when I first walked in and, and I could barely walk, well, I couldn't walk, I was on a wheelie cart, that they didn't think I was gonna make it because I had no confidence. I showed them, didn't I? <gasps> Here he is. Can you see him? Can you see your face? All right, have a good day.